What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. You're you're watching or listening to Into the Badlands from Third Person. That's something. That's a thing. Season three, episode three, Blind Cannibal Assassins. You can't get any more, uh, you know, legit than that. That's that's exactly what this is about. Well, some of it anyway. No. Uh, Mikey, what what it, man? Look, what'd you yes. think? First of all, uh, you know what? I I hate to. You hate, hate the show to... now? Oh, we're done. It's over. Shut it down. I hate to sound repetitive because when you ask me that question, when we do these videos, I always tend to have the same. Hold response. on. Okay. All right. All right. Hold on. Let me ask you this then. Yes. Answer me this. Yes. Were you excited to talk about this episode tonight? Of course, I always am, and that's uh, that's my whole point. It's just it's just consistently awesome series. It's fun, and this man. was this is probably my favorite episode of the season so far. Oh, oh yeah, bar none. I think it was mine too. It's just at this point, it's fu- it's uh, it's just fun. I really enjoy these scenarios that they're putting yeah, these people we're, in. We're really diving into all these questions that we've been wondering about in season one, season two, and we're getting more. You know, I love the the callback to the old world stuff, and we're seeing so much of that and. It's just, it's just, it's just cool stuff, and we're getting a lot more about Azra, and um, you know, it's it, it being a, a, like a religion and a belief. Based, and, yeah, based on the fact that they think yeah. it's, they they think it's still around or it can be resurrected or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right, up top, let's just real quick. I just want to talk real quickly about Tilda, MK, and and Odessa. Yeah. Um, I like that scene. I thought it was a cool scene mm. because you know Odessa's being a bitch in the corner. Right. And basically <laughs> telling Tilda, she's like, look, this dude's gone. Let he's not. He's changed. He's gone. Let him yeah. be an a-hole and go off and get himself killed. And he's like, he's hurt already. And he's like, well, I'm going to go find Sonny and kill Sonny. So it's, right, it's, right, uh, what I was going to say uh, right off the bat, you have a character in, 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 in MK who's not changed at all. Every, yeah. And I'd say that people who haven't changed are mostly haven't changed are Beji and MK. Beji still Beji. You know, um, yeah. we're learning a little bit more about his past, a tiny bit, but MK is just the last one so far to change. And, and, and technically he's like the youngest. So that makes kind of sense in my mind. Yeah. You know? Uh, you know, listen, it's, it's funny that Tilda is the one that disagrees with, with MK going after Sonny in the first place. When, uh, when Tilda was helping Sonny, he's like, this doesn't make anything right. You, you know, you gave veil to, to Quinn and all this kind of stuff or, or to, um, to the widow. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's, it's, it's interesting that, that Tilda still knows, um, you know, that she doesn't uh, really go with, uh, MK's, uh, idea of killing or going after, just going after him. And here's, here's the cool thing. This is, this brings it back to what I was saying on a previous episode is that Tilda MK, Odessa, they're like they're the future of the Badlands, right? Mm-hmm. And she says it. She says if they want to change the world, uh, they can't keep fighting each other. You know, that's what she said. Very like true. she's so what you know, what what Lydia had said to her, I guess kind of sunk in and she's starting to see, which is which is great for me because she used to be mm-hmm. the hard headed one. You know what I mean? She was yeah. the one last season that was just, no, 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 I'm doing this, I'm gonna do this, and I'm I'm gonna be whatever. So anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to put that in there. That was cool. I thought that was a cool little scene. And she's like, let, let him go. And he's like, I'm going and whatever. And she's like, get the hell out of here. We don't need you. And <laughs> I thought that was a cool little scene. Um, yeah. So uh, let's, let's, wh- let's, go, let's go to where uh, Cressida and Nyx and Pilgrim. And, and um, uh, first of all, she's, she's taking apart a, an owl pellet. So she's like literally digging in the shit, you uh, know, which yeah. is kind of funny. And uh, she gives Nix a, a, a Geiger counter, you know. Well, first she tells her, basically, your brother's dead. Like, you might as well just move on because your brother's going to die. <laughs> and and some- there's, somebody, there's somebody else out there that uh, right. you have to go looking for. Yeah, so you know. she so she gives her this modified Geiger can, can, uh, c- calendar. Yeah, she gives she gives her an advent calendar, and she says, "Every day, sweetie, open the door, and you're and you gonna get a piece get a of new- chocolate." Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so no, no. It's, they, it's, they found the advent calendar in the museum gift shop. Right, exact, right, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and they don't, and and they look at the date. It says like 2004, and they don't know what that means. <laughs> there was 2004 of these. Uh, but yeah, so this weird. This, I, you know, I, I was posing this question to you off camera, and your answer mm-hmm. was, I don't know. Which is, what, how does this thing work? Like, what what's powering? I thought it was a regular Geiger counter, and and then I was like, 
because I'm like, does that mean that these powers are generated from radiation? Is that is that what the, is this why? Yeah. Are they mutated humans? And this may still be the thing that they're mutated humans somehow that whatever ended the world, whether it be maybe it was a nuclear device, who knows, Mike, and and it and or some type of radiation that created these dark ones. It, yeah, and it could be. Let's just say that, cool this, idea. that right that they're technically they're mutants, but this mutant power drains them of their life force, which force which we have already not only talked about, it's already been confirmed. These they don't have long to live, especially yeah. when they use their powers. So could be, but then you said no, that's a compass. But it still yeah. may it still may be using well, listen, radiation. Listen, someone, yeah, I mean, listen, someone it's, built, instead of built that this, meter, it's a know? yeah, it's a it's a compass instead, mm -hmm. you know. So. Mm -hmm. I, I think I I'm I'm gonna go ahead and still say it's it's a radiation thing. I mean, listen, that's a cool idea. I'll I'm, I'm, I'll I'll uh, jump on board for that. As I mean, in, like I mean, human evolution, right? Yeah. Um, and um, you know, uh, oh, you know, so, so we have that, and then um, you know, we go over to uh, well, the show opens up with Chow. We get to see uh, Baron Baroness Chow's brother, Gaius Chow. Yeah. Um, played by Lewis Tan. Now, Lewis Tan, this dude is awesome. He was in uh, Iron Fist. Okay, he plays I Joe Chang. <laughs> what you never watched it, right? No, I didn't see. But uh, yo, he plays he plays like a drunken master in that, and okay. he has a fight cool. with him. It's a really sick fight, and I'm like, this guy looks so familiar. And I went back. I'm like, oh, that's right. He played he he, he and that was one of the better fights of that whole series. Was that yeah. fight? Um, it was like behind a building and he was like trying to stop him and it was a really it was a sweet fight he's also playing Shatterstar in Deadpool 2 which opens up um, the, uh, whenever this comes out I think the weekend that this that this airs um, so I'm looking forward I didn't even, I didn't even realize he was in that he's got like crazy like long red hair and stuff it's, it's gonna be awesome Shatterstar is a cool character so so really cool to see him um, and then uh, you know so we get him like oh he must be some like like you know, he's in, he's another master martial artist, and he's you know yeah. it's her it's her brother, and what did he do? And she explains that, you know, she, basically he went against her, you know, and he's in this cage, and I I you know that's pretty cool. What did you think when you saw him? I mean, it was another you know, is interesting. It was interesting to get a little bit more into Chow. We haven't seen her, so now I mean, we're learning more about them. We know now uh, she has a, a brother, and um. You know, I mean, I mean, it was it was a badass. If you want, like, if we want to transition to the fight part of it with him and and uh, Caster, I mean, listen, he held his own. It was cool to see someone else with um, uh, that martial arts background uh, that really kicks ass. So it would be interesting to see him and Sunny fight. I think hell that yeah. would be. Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! Yeah, we um we saw him uh, uh you know we saw him sword sword fighting. You know, we'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, I. So, dude, he's a leader of ninjas. His his group of dudes are ninjas, which we've never seen yet. Yeah. Right? We haven't seen ninjas. The closest thing, I think maybe the Iron Rabbit's all closed up. Otherwise, they're just clippers. Yeah. And you know what's like interesting? Came on the beach and everything like that. It was yeah, pretty, dude, that was sick, cool. man. So that's what I'm saying. Like, we got to see ninjas in that. So that whole scene, dude, when they're going into the, when they're infiltrating, first of all, uh, Pilgrim. Yeah. Right? What does he do? He, 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 um. Uh, he sends out flyers. How do he do that anyway? By the way, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe there's a plane that we don't know of or something that just dropped him. <laughs> yeah, he probably had a little birdie. Down, but yeah, no. Listen, he's he's soliciting. He's getting. He's trying to get more and more people, uh, you know, to follow him. And, and he takes. I think uh, they meant they said about two hundred of the uh, the poppy field the workers. Yep, uh, workers from the widow. So um, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, oh, here we go. You know, Lydia and and uh, the widow go go to uh, to meet, which was uh, it was cool to see, you know the the two characters uh, meet for the first time. I liked it that's and, what and fight together. You know? That's what's cool. So yeah. I like that. Th I like these combinations that they're doing. Like they're mm -hmm. putting. This is what I want to see, man. I want to see cool characters put into cool situations with other cool characters. You yeah. know, um, and. You know, so so we have them. So she shows up, and you know, immediately they get attacked by the ninjas. And there's a, there's one shot that it pans around. It's a it's a it's a one it's a singles camera shot. Um, it, it, it look in fact, I mean, it looks like it. If it's not, you know, it's great editing. But single camera shot of Pilgrim and 
the widow fighting, which was so cool. And I'm just like, yeah, man, like the, the choreography to do that. Like it was just so cool. Yeah. Um, what I love about Pilgrim's fighting style is you had mentioned it off camera, I believe too, is that he doesn't use weapons, but he's very, yeah. he's very up close. Like he's very, he's like half Muay Thai, half wrestling. You know what I mean? Like he's, he's a just, big dude. He's, he shows big his, dude. he does a lot of, Throws and, and, yeah. and thrusts and like yeah and he uses the enemy's inertia against them like he's very inept at that and yeah. um uh, depth sorry not inept uh, depth and he he says later on when he's able to turn off caster's ability right so he said he's, well the widow was even shocked by that yeah he's like yeah. she he's like well I, with my gift he says my gift allows me to do that this is what i have you know so again yeah. more stuff that we don't know what what is it what does he have mm -hmm. um but you said you 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 were telling me that you don't you're not sure why caster attacked the yeah widow. i mean we kind of had a, a bit uh, of a different idea with that scene but listen the fighting was was for the most part finished like uh you know caster takes care of of uh gaius right yeah and you know, really, that was that was it. The widow and, and pilgrim and everybody—they were just—they were pretty much standing there, and he just comes leaping. I just took it as uh, like the next target for Caster, and I just thought yeah. that was kind of weird, um, because I mean, I guess he would have known that they were fighting together. No, he wouldn't have, because he didn't show. He didn't see them. That's the thing. He didn't. He didn't show up. He didn't see Pilgrim at all. It wasn't like he. It wasn't like he ran past Pilgrim fighting. He just showed up and attacked Gaius. Yeah, but they weren't in a situation where either one seemed like a threat. The widow, I, a right, threat but to I Pilgrim, think, and Pilgrim. You know, I think it's what so you, I think it's what you said that he turned around, he looked down, and it was like a video game. Like all of a sudden, a little red X went up, or a little red triangle went up, went up above her head. Yeah, and he was like, oh, enemy, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I just yeah, it was it's a, a person little... doesn't know standing with a sword next to Pilgrim, and he yeah. was like enemy. And I, I mean, I, you know, listen, way... it, it could have just been like that, but you know, for for whatever reason, it could have just been to show that ability that Pilgrim has. Well, yeah, to the, of course, you know? yeah. And <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much with it. It just for me, it just seemed like yeah, I get you. It's like one of those things like that that caught you. I got you, man. That, is that's... there something that he didn't trust about her? Is there something that he sensed? That he didn't like. Um, well, she's not to be trusted anyway. I mean, no, I know, he's not but wrong you know, in that, you know, if that's the case. <clears throat> Pilgrim's not there. Pilgrim's not. He's not seeing her as an enemy yet. Well, that's that the whole thing. So what happens is, you know, at the end of the fight and everything, and he goes down. You know, Lydia had to come in and you know give us the exposition of, oh wait, no, no, because Chow marks are guys, and you know, and like you know that may have been a little a bit forced, but. Yeah. I feel like sometimes, sometimes you, you you write yourself into a situation where you need to get out of it, and if you've already gotten so far, it's like, well, look, we like all of this other stuff. Sometimes you have to like give a little bit, you know what I mean? So what I mean is, it was a little like, no, 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 hold on, they're marked. Look, see, but that's the thing though. That's why I kind of that's why I love this show though. Whether whether people like that or not, or yeah. even whether whether yeah. they think that caster was that, it's like a comic book to me. So that, you know, it's like the whole beginning when it's all that, that art style, like it, it's that comic booky, right? Yeah. And it's like, I just, I, and, and that's it. It's like, get to the point. It doesn't really matter. Just give them the information. Let's move forward. And, and, and I like that a lot. Yeah. So how, how'd you feel about the, the whirlwind, the whirlwind attack against the widow? She was like, uh, uh, right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's just, it's, it's cool stuff. It's, it's, it's more, it's new. You yeah. know what I mean? It, we're not, it's not, listen, shows like, I mean, these things, it can get tired if you don't have the right choreographers or the right martial artists that are, you know, choreographing these, these fights and yeah. these moves. Have to come up with something new every always something, fight. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. So it's, um, you know, the show's good with that. The show, yeah. you know, it's, it's not just, and we mention this all the time. It's not like just a fight martial arts show. There's, there's, it's it's more it's deeper it's got, yeah. because yes it's got bones the, the story is good and we're getting more and more and more interesting facts about everybody Ezra and everything and like I, yeah. yeah you know different characters and just just cool stuff you know just cool stuff it's a great show the uh the the whole so before all the fighting began in in the in the museum just that 
it was so tense with them like talking and going back and forth and the ninjas coming through, going yeah. through. You notice they went through the, the Japanese section, right? Yeah. Yeah. Through you. Right. You, you notice that. You that was the perfect. Yeah. Behind. But it was against the backdrop of the yeah. Japanese doors or, or the windows and the, in the walls and the, and the yeah. samurai outfits and the very tense, very awesome scene. I was like, Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah. Um, it's also, it's also very ballsy as far as the widow and Lydia just deciding, Hey, screw it. Let's go meet these. You know, yeah, like they didn't take clippers they, with them, like they didn't. It shows the confidence, yeah. It just shows, um, or you know, or, bad... or stupidity, but they still uh, it worked out. Look, it worked out yeah. at this point. Yeah. Um, so, you know, um, oh, and it just I, I, before we get that blade fight though with Caster and Gaius, that was sick. <laughs> it was so awesome, yo. And he took he took some hits, Gaius. Yeah, you know, he got slashed on the stomach. He got he got it through his shoulder. You know, like, but well, that's that, why I, I'm interested to see what's going to happen with him now. Cause obviously I Cast didn't finish the nah, job. He'll be, fine. he'll be fine. But dude, that, I just, just that, that, that blade fury, that, that flurry of blades mm -hmm. from Caster. Oh, right. And he's like, Oh fuck, fuck. You know, like, dude, this is so sick. Like, I just love it, man. I love, mm -hmm. I love seeing what they could do. Speaking of which let's talk about these blind, these blind, uh, samurai cannibals, cannibals yeah. right? That's, dude, that's like, they were, you know, for a, for a group of new characters that obviously weren't around very long because of what happened uh, in the episode, it they were really. It was like my 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 favorite part is just the way their look. You know, these hollow eyes, eyes right? And, yeah. You know, even the first guy that we meet, mm -hmm, that Sonny and Baji yeah. and Moon all fall into the trap of you know, come shit a spell. You know, it was. He was interesting because I I was thinking I could I could see that guy in like a Game of Thrones or something like oh, that. Oh hell yeah, you know. Um, but just just um, you 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 knew something was up, yeah. and Sonny and and uh, Baji wake up and and Henry's gone. We're like oh here we go, you know what I mean? But it's just yeah. it's interesting because we got a new group of characters. I just love the way, um, you know, the fights happened, and of course the Sonny and Moon you know, uh, together in the same room again. Yeah. And that, you know, it's yeah. great because you were like, Oh my God, they're going to get together. So obviously he mm -hmm. didn't know he was at Lydia's place, but yeah. now they're again. So they've been pit, they've been teasing us, you know, being like, Oh, they're going to get together. They're going to get together. And, um, so, um, Oh, you know, it was pretty sick too. When he, he grabs the boots and he like lifts himself up by his neck. Like that had to hurt, man. All right. That was like, that was so sick. Um, yeah, just the whole thing. He uses moons. He's like, "Are you gonna tell me how to use this thing?" Yeah. And he's like, "Go to hell," you know. He's like, <laughs> uh, and uh, so he ends up, you know, killing the guys. They get out, and dude, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like that, they fight in unison. Like that was, that was really cool. You know, like the yeah. two two front guys will attack, and then they'll get down, and then they'll make the other guys and the other guys leapfrog over them. Like that was just sick. And <laughs> how they get around, right? Yeah, with the swords against the walls there, and they can. Um, it was funny. Um, it was funny when uh, when Baji and 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 Sonny were were fighting the guys, and mm -hmm. they were like sneaking up, and they took the the back two guys out, yeah. and then they stop, you know, and they yeah. stay still. And it was, d dude, like I said, it, it was, was great. It was, they, were, they were really, they were really cool. It's well written, dude. Characters. These are really cool scenes written you know with really cool antagonists and the protagonists yeah. get to go do cool things and listen we got a we got a, a bit of uh, a flashback with sunny as a young cult and and learning oh my god know. dude what about waldo mm -hmm. that was waldo's voice though you know that right yeah they used his they used yeah. the original character's voice and just dubbed it over that was good it looked flawless yeah. to me though yeah no it was it, you that know it was good i was um i was a little bit surprised that Sonny kind of admitted it, especially, you know, to this woman that was holding, you know, his oh, child. Yeah, like well, she could have, you know, she could have did, uh, you know, d did some harm to, to Henry, killed him or whatever it was. But it was um, it was cool to see that the young Sonny as a cult and, and what he was what he had to do. Well, this season yeah. we're getting a lot of that. And he's he yeah. he realizes now because he's got a son when you so. Look, as a father, OK, <laughs> when you have kids you see your own mortality and you see your own shit, right? And that's what's he, what he's going through, right? He's going yeah. through the fact that he's done so much harm to people. He's done so much bad in the world for somebody else. But now yeah. he has somebody that he has to 
train and teach and, and be teach to be a person. And he's got, a, it, you know, it, he's he, doesn't, he doesn't want Henry to grow up to be the, not only does he want to grow up to be him, and, but, right, but he know, wants it, to reconcile with himself. Yeah. You know, because it, he's got demons, man. He does. He does. And that's why I he's think that because we had questioned if, if MK's vision of, of Sonny killing his mother was true or not. And that's I mean, why I think yep. it totally is true. Now is it's true. I agree. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, he um, he did yeah, he did it. it. He's going to have know? to pay for that. And you know what? And Sonny, based on how he is now, right now, and what he's going through, like he's absolutely going to have, he's going to own it. He's going to own it. He's going to own it. And he's going to yeah, be like, gonna I be, did. It's going to be interesting when they, when they see each other, because just like Sonny and Moon, Sonny wanted no part of it. He's like, listen, dude, if you're going to kill me, you got to take care of my kid. Like, so I, I obviously don't see him attempting to fight MK. That's why uh, it's going to be, it's going to be really cool to see them together. And it looks like it might be sooner than later. You yeah. Know, Cause obviously Nix finds MK at the end and right. Um, you know, let's, let's see, you know, let's see where, where it takes us. But, um, you know, yeah, go. And also going back to, uh, Moon's decision to, you know, I mean, that, how do you feel about that? I mean, at first I was like, I was like, I kind of wanted to see them fight, but you know what, the, what they did was different than what probably everybody expected. Did we want to see Moon and Sunny fight? Sure, but at the same time, I, I'm, I'm, I'm more than okay with having these two characters reconcile in a way that's like, it was logical. He was like, well, you're going to, yeah. then you have to take my son. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we find, and then, you know, we find out whether, you know, Moon's like, you know, like, you know, I'm not going to leave this kid without his dad like, like mine was. Now, I do, I cannot remember, and you guys can tell us if, if, if we're wrong or not, but I don't remember knowing that he had a son. Maybe, maybe when they met and he talked about his, I know, because I know, I know in season two when they talked, you know, he, he gave him some information about about himself, Moon, to Sonny and Beijing. But I, I don't I don't remember now. I didn't I don't do my remember. homework. I think I didn't something come back like that would have I think something like that may have would have probably stuck out a little bit more. But I, that's why that's I why remember, I, don't I don't remember hearing anything. Yeah. About so so either way, this is information we're getting that. Yes, he. Yeah. You know, so 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 we're, we're getting these slivers of information about Moon, which is great because I feel like, you know, you know, if Moon makes it to season four, which which by all means I don't see why he wouldn't, unless he sacrifices himself, you know, which I can actually see him doing too, because you can see he's got he's got morals, you know what I mean? He's got scruples, and he, you know, he, so his like look at his goal for Sunny. I'm going after yeah. Sunny. I'm going after Sunny. I'm going to kill Sunny. But yeah. he didn't let that get in the way. You know what I mean? He isn't like MK at this point where MK's like, I'm going to just kill Sonny. And well, listen, let's see what changes with Moon. Because listen, the, the main reason. Um, he became the he, he became the regent and everything. Killed, yes, right. to go after Sonny. So now. Does he believe he, in her cause? Does Right. That's yeah, that's that's what we're going to we're going to see. I mean, does he decide to leave? Does he renounce his, you know, his regent role? with her does he go back on his own um you know maybe he'll stick around because of lydia and just to protect i her. think i think yes i think i think what you just said is the perfect reason now that sunny's out of his mind he's gonna stay for lydia because he can and will lydia. will absolutely, moon absolutely. say that he he even saw sunny good point that you know is a good question i don't know and you know <laughs> i just i just i like where it's at though I like yeah. where it's at. I like that each episode is giving us a little bit of, you know, changing the game a little bit. You mentioned, yeah. you know, like you said, uh, they, they, now they have MK and what is that going to mean? What is that going to do? Like, where the heck is that going to go now? We, you know, we don't know. It's going to be yeah. fun. It's going to be cool to see. Um, I, I, personally, I don't think I have any, I don't think I have any thoughts on it right now. I was like, I don't know where that's going to go. Obviously they're going to go to Pilgrim. Is MK, is MK, is Pilgrim going to offer MK Sonny's head? You know? I don't think it's going to be anything like that. I think that Pilgrim is going to see the use. How no, but I'm saying to MK get him. I'm saying be. to get him to to work with him. He'd be like, "I'll get you, Sonny. I'll bring Sonny to you." I don't think I, I think MK wants him for himself. So no, well, no but what I'm saying more... is he's going to bring. He's he's going to say that I'll bring Sonny to you so you can kill him. Oh yeah, I mean I don't know. I don't as I, a way I mean, to get him to fight for him. I can see actually a clashing with Caster and MK because I can almost see. Maybe a Nyx 
MK romance kind of thing possibly happen or so I I think that we're going to see a, a fight with Caster and MK. What if you they know, team up? Pilgrim well that's true. Because Caster in the beginning they'll clash, but I think it's going to be more of a pilgrim trying to persuade MK to say listen, um I've look at these two, look at what I what I've done to them. Maybe there'll be even more questions popping up with Pilgrim because MK doesn't need to be cut. Right. Well, now he doesn't. I yeah. Think. We think. We think. Because he did do it. Well, well, he did do it twice. So he hasn't. Yeah, he hasn't. And, and we still see everybody cutting. I would. Yeah, I would love to see a caster and MK team up and 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 possibly have to fight against Nyx and Pilgrim because Caster at this point's like, cause he's realizing dude, he's losing, he's losing his, his pa- like not losing his power, but he's losing his life essentially. And he's on the way out and maybe just, maybe he doesn't see it. I mean, we really haven't gotten too much of that just yet, but yeah. maybe he starts uh, to see things a little differently. I don't know. Yeah, um, I don't know. Either I don't way, know. it does look sick dude. The next episode, I don't know if you watch, if you, if any of you guys watch the, the coming attractions, but it looks insane. It looks insane. Yeah, I didn't watch. I didn't watch. Yeah, I I, I like to watch that because I like to. Yeah. I, I just get excited, you know. Yeah. Um, one last thing that I wanted to talk about um, mm-hmm. is, I, I I think I realized one of the reasons for the for the, for the direction of the story. Um, it's kind of obvious, but it still dawned on me anyway. Is that the reason they got rid of everybody last season? They got rid of all of the barons, right? As a story element, is so they could bring in these new characters obviously i mean again that's why i say it's obvious but i still think it's a really cool thing let's have this all-out war at the end of the season have these two barons left have them doing a fight but then bring this third party in you know i just think there was i think quinn was just a great character and that's why they it's 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 great the show is great because they're not wasting time on like can you even name the other four or five nope. barons that were nope. at the you know what i mean yeah um so it's just it's cool that they put a lot of their time and effort in in some of the guys that really make sense and that's yeah. you know with the widow because she's i mean and 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 quinn was was great too we had quinn there for a couple seasons so it's um listen you know i you can't really ask more from the from this the series and you know, we said it a million times. It's it's not just a martial arts show. The story is is it's is really it's it's a really interesting show. And yeah. and I just want to address that, like what Mike's saying, the fact that you know, and The Walking Dead, you know, in season eight, we really got down on it. And you know, again, who the hell are we? We're two idiots on webcams that talk about the show. But the show's made for us, right? Yeah. So we're talking about it. You you're putting it out there. We're talking about it. And on this show. Yes, we're singing. We're singing the hell out of the pra- you know praises of, of this show. But you know what though? It's a fun show. It's it's exciting. Mike and I are like I know we're we're absolutely excited to sit down and watch it every week. And then when we come together and we talk about it, like we're it's it's an exciting fun show. So yeah, mm-hmm. so we're very enthusiastic. We will sing it praises. We will say what what we don't like about it. Obviously, we have and we do. There are some things, but I'm happy to say that you know story wise. You know, um, and look, it, it's all—it's all personal opinion. You know, Mike doesn't yeah. agree with some of the stuff I think, and vice versa. And it's just—but that's the beauty of it. You know, we can all come together and talk about this stuff. So I just wanted to address that because, as opposed to The Walking Dead, like we're sitting here going, "This is a great show," and right. because it wow. is. So why not? Why not go? Go if if you watch this show, go tell other people about it because it's a fun show. And if they're like, "Oh, it's got martial arts in it," oh, be like, "Nah, <laughs> it's it's it's." Dope as hell. Just go watch yeah. the damn show because it's great and the story's fun and and yeah. and they're. I feel like this season they've tightened up the storyline. Like they've tightened it up and they're giving it to us in these chunks that are like perfect, mm-hmm. you know, mixed in with with amazing martial arts and like you could tell that they're just like they have fun with it because they're like, what can we do? What could that fighting in that hospital was? Not only was it a sick ass hospital, you know, yeah. and dude, not. Not for nothing. I feel like every location they're giving us, they didn't give us locations like this previously. You know what's funny? You just mentioned. Remember, they Old had to open location. up. They, they had to locations. open up. This hospital was underground. Yeah. And so he said, "You're first. It's your baby." Like a, like a fallout, like a nuclear fallout thing that they would need to yeah. be. because the radiation is going to penetrate right deep into the ground. So right. That's, that was uh, what I was thinking. That was that was one of my thoughts that I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, that's pretty. But it's, it's just it's great. Cool. I like it's I cool. like that every, uh, many, many, many of these locations now are like, hey, look, old world. It wasn't like that before. Before it was like refineries mm-hmm. and like little villages 
and we're mansions, getting a, we're getting more cemeteries. of the geography, and we even had some questions in our in our previous video about because the, the of course with the car the taxi door you know the, right. the NYC thing. So some people are thinking that the Quinn and the Widow they're down south. They can when when. Maybe maybe sunny and, and Chow's up north they're up a little bit north, and we don't know. Maybe Azra is on the west coast. You know, right, we're, we're right. assuming that they're in the United States, which I think that's kind of a given. But well, I mean, yeah. we it, it's it's not like The Walking Dead where it takes five episodes for Rick to get from Hilltop to back to Alexandria. The, these guys are always traveling. We mentioned this. If Sonny Sonny's going to see the witch, we'll he'll get to the witch in the, in that episode. Yeah. You know what I mean? So even though we're seeing it fast and we're seeing the traveling fast on Badlands, it they're could also be driving cars. Well, yeah, yeah it could be cars. far. It could be hundreds of miles, or you know that they're uh, that it's taking for them, you know, a couple days or something. So it, yeah. it's it's interesting to learn more about that stuff. I mean, the old world, the geography, and I think we're going to get more of that. Yeah, it, it's it's absolutely fun. So anyway, yeah, yeah, we love the show. It's good. It's good. We're, we're definitely looking forward to it. Um, you know, Mike and I would definitely like to thank all of you who watch the show Absolutely. and support the show and comment. Absolutely. And if we don't get to your comment right away, we're, we're sorry. We will. We, we usually do. It's <laughs> so, been a little hectic this last week. Yeah, too. just keep them it's coming. Not an excuse, but yeah, yeah. Write write those comments down. Of course, third person pod on YouTube. Check us out on Instagram and on Facebook. And don't forget to have a listen to us uh, if you wish on iTunes. That's it. Thank you very much, guys. We love you, and we'll see you on the next episode for Into the Badlands. Peace.